Vlogmas Day 2. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you a gift guide that I've made as well as a variety of enamel pins that I've collected over the years. So pins by other artists who are not me, <laughs> but I figured this would be a really good gifting idea because all of these things you can get under $20 and so then you can get gifts for all of your friends. Let's go! So on my Christmas gift guide, I've prepared a variety of gifts for you guys to shop. I have a winter collection featuring some pins like these ones. I have a nature series with florals there's also a collection for foodies for people who love food there's also gifts for animal lovers gifts for astrology lovers. I have a whole collection of zodiac pins and this is my sign, Pisces, and I've got these in gold and silver. That's enough about me. I'll leave links down below if you want to check out the rest of the collections. I just feel like these are really good gifts if you want to buy gifts for multiple people, <laughs> if you want to buy gifts for different friends, if you want to get matching sets. These are all very good options. Um, I also have a best friend series which I'll leave up here. But today I mostly wanted to talk about my enamel pin collection and I have quite a few enamel pins that I've collected over the years. Um, from These are all from different markets and conventions. Um, a couple of them I bought online but most of them are from trades with other artists and yeah I'm very excited to share this with you. Hopefully these will still be available on their shops because um, some of them are quite old but they're all really fun. So uh, I'll link everyone's shops in the description box wherever possible, okay? So I don't think I'll go through all of them just because there are like so many. But these are the bins that I use to collect all of my pins and patches. I don't really wear all of my collections that often just because, well, there really are just like so many of them and I do try to wear my own pins whenever I can just so that I could talk to people about them and promote my business. But these I kind of just keep at home and this is my little treasure box of things that really give me a lot of joy whenever I look at them. Um, maybe in the future I'll find some sort of home for them, but right now they just live inside this box. And right off the bat, I really want to share with you this collection by Narimative, Nar Narimative. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your handle, but um, these are from my friend Tiff, and they're like buff animals. So they all like work out, and they're like, super strong and so cute. I love these so much. So. So that was the bear and cat. I've also got this like aerobic cat or like yoga cat. So cute. And like on the on the back of the cards, there's like illustrations as well. So cute. This one's also by her and it's the bird with a bread on his head. And there's also this buff bird. Those are definitely some of my favorites. Next up we have this Shiba Inu gaming pin from Lemon Creamsicle. My husband got me this on Kickstarter because I had hinted to him that I really wanted this. Because <laughs> it looks like Primo. Let's see, what else do I have? This one's really cute. It says Witches Club and it's by Burncat. And I really love just keeping the pins in their original packaging because I feel like it's part of the artwork. And it's like this little art piece that you can keep forever. So cute. Another one of my really favorite 
pin designers are Shantae. She makes these really adorable cat pins. She posts a lot of stuff on Instagram and I'm always really impressed by the amount of work she puts into her business. And all the stuff that comes out are so cute. We've actually had coffee a few times and usually we draw while we're hanging out and she draws so fast and she has so many ideas. It's super cool. Also got, these are the Mob Cycle pins from her Mob Cycle Kickstarter. And I'm really sorry if I'm using anyone's pronouns wrong, but feel free to let me know down below and I'll make sure I'll get it right next time. This is from Ann Mix. It's a little winner's pin. So these next ones are from bummerclub.com. They're by a local artist named Michael, I believe. Um, he's super nice. But I really love this series by him. It features, this is only one of them. He has, he's got a ton of other ones, but it's featuring some classic masterpieces. And it reminds me of my art school days when when I used to sit through art history lectures and all I would do is redraw the pieces that I was supposed to be learning about in my sketchbook. I would kind of just be so focused on like what's in the actual art piece and I wouldn't really remember why I was learning about them. So I didn't do so well in art history, but um, that's okay. I had lots of fun. <laughs> These are really cute sweets from Kawaii Boku. She's a local artist that I've met um, at a bunch of conventions here and she is so nice. She's always, she always comes over to my booth to say hi and sometimes she gives me snacks and stuff like that. It's so nice to be a part of an art community that is so supportive of one another. This next one is by Bomb Hat. I really like her art style. She does a lot of really cool illustrations as well. But um, these pins specifically, I really like the colors of. I feel like they're so cute. This one is super cute. I got this one at a convention last year. It was Designer Con in Anaheim, and it's by Robot Dance Battle. It's a little hot dog. So cute. This one's really pretty. It's kind of like, looks like a painting or something by Chungsi. This next one was a gift from my sister and it's by her friend Kay. Here's another one of my favorite artists. Her name is Eureka Arts Studio. And I've got more of her pins, but I've got them on a bag somewhere. I have no idea where it is. Also have this patch from her. I love her illustration style and all her pins. They're so beautiful. And there's this cute egg from Crispy. This is her card. So adorable. I have these black and white koi fish from my friend Melissa from Toronto. And I feel like these would make such a great best friend pin set. So you could have one and then your best friend could have one and then they would totally match. Here's another artist I really like. Her name is Isla. Got these really cute frog pins. And she's so friendly, I love her. So Isla also has some cloud pins, which I love. Look how cute they are. And there's also a little squid octopus guy. I've got these kind of edgy ones from my friend Susie. She also does tattoos. So if you're looking for a tattoo artist, you might want to check her page out. This is from the Fox Nose. It's the Wee Bear Bears. I think that the Wee Bear Bears are so funny. I also have a series of Adventure Time pins from Dead Cute and also a Dance Dance Revolution pin because um, my husband and I are very obsessed with Dance Dance Revolution. 
This one's super cool. It's from an artist called Zitalis. I think this was one of the first art trades I did with someone um, called The Red Ribbon Shop. We messaged each other online and then we traded pins. Here's another one from my sister and I actually really love this artist. The artist's name is Raphael, and it's a little astronaut. Here are some pins from another artist that I am friends with. Her handle is Alpaca Galore. She's also super friendly. In the summertime, she hosted a kind of like a paint day in her garage <laughs> so that we could be, you know, two meters apart, but drawing outdoors. And it was so enjoyable. I had spent the whole summer alone and it was just so nice to be around other people. <laughs> she also used to work at David's Tea, so she was offering us all sorts of teas and it was just so nice to see everyone again since there are no markets this year. But let's see what else I got. Of course, I can't forget Pugly! This one is by Zanami Designs, and it's Ditto! I love Pokemon, but I'm stuck, like, in Pokemon Indigo, so I'm, I'm just, that, like, really reveals my age, but Pokemon Indigo is the best. I can't remember his handle, but I think his name is Andreas. So let me just look it up. Oh wait, no. I'm using my phone to film, so I can't look anything up. But I love his artwork. I met him last year at Fanime, and he was like the coolest guy ever. Um, I kind of just really wanted to like support him and buy his work, but he get, gave me a couple free prints as well, which is super awesome. Thank you so much. I really love his artwork. If you check out his Instagram, you'll be blown away. These next ones are from Fanime as well, and they're by an artist named Emily. So she didn't have any cards left when I met her, and for some reason I thought I would be able to find her social media through the products that I bought, but then there was nothing. So for months I did not know who she was and I wanted to share her things, but luckily I saw her again at DesignerCon, um, so that was awesome. Finally, finally know who she is. I also have these pins from Just Duet Cat. I also have some of her washi tape and they're all super beautiful. This one's one I got on Etsy. It's by Wah 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 Wah. She's also got some dim sum pins, which are super cool. Lastly, we've got this jackfruit. Get it? Because he's jacked. <laughs> so this is what a thousand dollars worth of pins look like. I'd love to hear in the comments which pin in my collection was your favorite, so let me know down below. All of these artists put a lot of work into their creations, so I'm really happy to be able to share these with you here today. Everything in today's video are really cute and dainty, so they'll definitely fit inside stockings. So if you're looking for stocking stuffers, these would be a perfect option for that. If you want to shop the IVC gift guide, I've got it linked down below. It's Again, it's featuring these different collections. And if you want to shop my enamel pin collection, I've also listed all of the artists down below. And I can't promise that they still have all of these designs, but I'm going to try my best to link them for you so that you can go shop their designs because even if it's not the exact same ones, I'm pretty sure they have some really cute stuff for you to shop. I hope that helps with your Christmas shopping. And if not, then I hope you have fun going through my collection with me. I really enjoy looking at these. And if you also collect enamel pins, let me know down below who are your favorite enamel pin artists. I would love to check them out. And if you have any videos or photos of your collection, Feel free to leave them in the comments as well and I'll go have a look. 
please give this video a like if you thought that these pins were cute. I will be back tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so we can hang out all Christmas long. See you tomorrow! Oh,